everyone. So today in the morning it snowed and my face is just full of nasty, snowy, rainy weather. So before I go on my interview today for a new job, well a second job, um, I'm actually going to show you guys my makeup routine that I'm doing. And first I'm just taking a wipe, a makeup cleansing tissues from Absolute um, and it has vitamin E in it and I believe these are the lemon ones the lemon scented so I'm just gonna go ahead and take off my makeup and for my eyes I'm just gonna put it and rub it I'm not pulling or pushing anything I'm just rubbing Moving in small little motions like this. Uh, and also on my lips too, because sometimes with my dry lips, makeup seems to get in the little nooks and crannies of it. Okay. So now this is me, makeup free, and this is my wipe. Gross. Alright, so now that we've taken off all our makeup, I'm actually going to show you guys the makeup that I just got that I'm absolutely loving, and I didn't know if I should have tried it out or not, because it does not say oil free. But with this one, I felt like it just dries like powder, like it doesn't leave my face greasy, so that's a great thing. And that is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous foundation. And I've never used foundation before because I was always intimidated that they were too thick. But this one is definitely not thick at all. And it actually feels like a BB cream, but lighter than a BB cream, if that is possible. I love this foundation, and I highly recommend it to everybody. Um, I put it on before I go to school, if I have work. You know, it just stays full coverage, um, and it's buildable coverage, I'm pretty sure, because, um, you know, I just kept putting on areas that needed it, like for my scarring, and it's just completely, like, gone. Not completely gone, I mean, obviously my scars are very, very deep and very, very red, but I don't like putting concealer on just because I feel too cakey. Well, not too cakey, but I have too much makeup on, I don't like that feeling. So I just put on foundation and I'm pretty okay with that. You know, as long as my scars aren't red, it's okay if they're a little bit visible to me, as long as they're not bright, bright red, like how they are now. Um, so let's get started. I'm actually going to go rinse off my face just so I don't have, you know, all this, any makeup left. So let me go do that and I'll be right back, guys. Alright, so I just washed off my face and patted it dry real quick. So now I'm going to take some of my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous foundation on my fingertips, on my clean fingertips. And I'm just putting about that much. Um, normally, for underneath my eyes, I would just, you know, dab some. I just did my winged out eyeliner um, and now I'm going to apply on my lips this CoverGirl amazing beautiful lip color and this is what it looks like Bazing! nice purple color excuse me it's in number 310 and it's called smitten um, this color is absolutely beautiful I do not usually wear dark colored lipsticks but this is my first lipstick that I've actually worn in a while and it's beautiful I fully love it okay so this is the recently new chapstick that I got and it's Bliss Tech's medicated lip balm boom already next I'm going to apply this and usually I do it in small moderations and then go over it. Oh my god, I just took a whiff of it. 
of whiff of this, guys. This is the best smelling lipstick that I have smelled in. It smells absolutely amazing. And I don't know why I like this smell so much. If you guys have this lipstick, tell me if you like the smell because I love the smell of this. my brush lip usually I do not like to fill in my brows you guys just because my brows are very very thick already um, but I do brush them sometimes I do fill them in but today I just really don't want to all right so now I'm gonna go get changed because I you know for store the shore hoodie is not gonna do well for a clothing store industry that has to deal with the girly clothes so let me go change and I'll show you guys my outfit if you would so like me to See you later. So for my outfit, I picked this long sleeve maroon color v-neck shirt and I have this leopard print scarf. For jeans, I mean for pants, I basically have just little jeans on. Okay, so. <laughs> These jeans make my butt look extremely small, not sounding conceited at all. Alright, so since my hair is kind of like a day old, um... I am insensitive. I have a tendency to pay more attention to the things that I need. Sometimes I drink too much. And this is my completed look. For shoes, I might actually just use these boots because they match my scarf. I completed outfit. <laughs> Had to wait for the dramatic pause. Um, for fragrance perfume, I would use my Forever Midnight from my job, my first job, but there's no more left. A little bit, a little bit, but it smells amazing. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I'll talk to you guys very, very soon because I do have another video idea for you guys. Alrighty, talk to you later.